Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Today, my group and I will be presenting our construction technology BSR 552 group assignment, which is the Lumut Dockyard proposal. Next is our company background. So, our company name is Gold Coast Construction and Surveying. It is located at Jalan Durian Emas 4, Seremban Negeri Sembilan. So, the form of our business is partnership and the nature of our business is consulting and surveying. And the date of commencement is in 24th April 2015. For the organization chart, we have Muhammad Faris Ashman as the CEO, Siti Normalina as the CCO, me Ahmad Ibrahim as the Head of Development and Property, Abkori Hisan as the Head of Health, Safety and Environment, and last but not least, Siti Nor Atira as the Head of Corporate Planning and Business Development. The proposed type of portal frame for these projects is the Monsat portal frame. It is used because of its large clear height at the mid section. A curved rafter portal frame may be constructed using curved rafter mainly for architectural reason. Cellular beam portal frame rafter may be fabricated from cellular beams for aesthetic reason or when providing long spans. The height at mid section is required for this spot as it is suitable for its intended purpose. For the objective, our project uh, it is a dockyard. The Mansart portal frame is very suitable because the clear span for our dockyard is 15 meters, the length is 20 meters while the height of the hull is 12 meters respectively. It is the best option because this type of portal frame has large clear height at mid span which is very suitable to be used to house a ship which has the height below 12 meters inside the Mansart portal frame for maintenance and repairing work without any problem. It also doesn't need any column at the center of the frame which can limit the space that can be used for the ship placement. For the quality factor, uh, first is good in material. Perhaps be using a stainless steel that steel is for its durability and provide long term strength. It is uh, also resistant to corrosion even through the dockyard new near to the sea water. Second is strength of structure. This steel frame structure is stable and strongest and most resilient structure and provide more square footage. We continue for the next part, job sequences. What is job sequences? Job sequences is the construction scheduling and the sequences required you to plan construction activities while considering resources, special constraints, and others' concern. Scheduling and sequence analysis in construction guarantees that staging is streamlined and identifies potential conflicts. Construction sequencing usually requires scheduling and sequencing software to create, update, and communicate the project. So this is the table of job sequences that I have managed. The first one is inception. Inception we have the purposes of the work, tasks to be done, people directly involved, time estimating, and also usual terminology. So the first one is inception. To prepare general outline of requirement and plan future action. Set up client organization for briefing consider requirement so for people people interact is for the all client interest and architect the duration time estimating for the inception is one month while the usual terminology is briefing the second one is feasibility so the feasibility is to offer a customer with an inspection and recommendation so that he can decide how much the project will go. So the task to be done is carry out studies of user requirement, site condition, planning and cost and the others. So this facility should 
estimated time is about one month. The next part is outline proposal. Outline proposal proposed is to define strategies. To define strategies have been proven to lay up design and construction in order to acquire the client authorized approval on the outline proposed and reports. This other proposal is for all client interests, architect, engineers, QS and specialists as requirement. So this task estimate time is one month. The last one is science design. The task for the science design is to final the briefing development, architect detail design, engineer preliminary design and cost plan preliminary also the full explanatory report this task estimating time is one month so the person directly involved is all client interest architect engineers QS and specialists as requirement and all the statutory and other approving authorities the advantages of the portal frame first speed and ease of erection steel parts are easily fabricated in a variety of shapes and size this also means that it can be customized it to bear specific loot in building of all building type and size also using steel as a material uh, a design to be light long span durable and easy to erect safely and quickly so this uh, can save time and and building can be quickly construct second cost effectiveness still has always proved to be economical in the long term rather than paying landfill fees for non recyclable construction the company can reduce the expenses by using structural steel in the steel frame structure since uh, steel is durable it requires less maintenance uh, hence reducing the cost through the building lifetime uh, due to the demand for the steel in the construction business Steel price are lower than it was uh, some year back. Third is the fire resistant. On lower structure, timber offer enough flexibility, but there will be also be a fire risk. Steel frame construction are highly resistant of fire, reducing the fire risk to a building and retaining the spread of a fire should one occur. Special flame without a coating are to increase this property of the structural steel. Unlike concrete, its strengths become compromised when subject to extreme uh, temperature. However, concrete in itself is not very flexible, so extensive strength must be increased by reinforcing it with steel. For it's suitable for large and high building. It can be used where a large clear height at mid span is required, but the if height of the building has to be minimized. Steel stock are available in a variety of size and it can be fabricated order. This means that uh, they can be customized to bear specific load in building of all different types and size. Structural steel uh, components are lighter and stronger than a uh, weight bearing wood or concrete product. A typical weight be a uh, we bearing steel fabrication is a 30% to 50% lighter than a wooden equivalent. This makes a steel frame uh, construction stronger and more durable than a traditional wood frame alternative. So when using this frame, it's suitable for large and high rise building. Next is the disadvantages of the portal frame. First, thermal conductivity. Steel is not known for its warmth due to the high efficiency in the conducting heat. The insulation value of the wall can be reduced by as much as half when the heat is transferred away through steel studs. 
uh, which is not good news for energy retention in a building where steel frame construction is used. Insulation measures need to be put in a place to uh, counteract the thermal conductivity of a steel. Second, reduce flexibility on the side. One of the benefits of using wooden structural components is the ability to adjust them on the side. A component can be cut down to size, nail, hammer, into straighten the joint and so on. This obviously can't happen to the steel. The measurement of the steel needs to be precisely calculated in advance because a steel fabrication is delivered to the site in its final form, ready to be slotted into the building. So this is uh, of course one of the big advantages of steel but if the fabrication has resulted in inaccurate component for whatever reason, the project may be healed up for you know, a while for forever is sent back to the workshop for adjustment. Third, supportive structure. The steel frame construction is rarely work on their own. Usually, they usually require drywall, shading, insulation, and supplementary wooden components to bring a building together. In the opinion of the some construction business, this longer this will be the longer construction time. It's always a be an agreement against the steel frame constructions. Although, usually the time saving outweighs any adjustment that needs to be made on site. The cost to be adopted is an average of 210,300 ringgit. The price is depending on the type, quality, capacity, and the difficulty of the installation. Choice and budget depend on water, depth, climate, location, and fresh or salt water also been applied. Basically, it also affected on the material chosen for the dock. There are some of the material that can be choose, such as aluminium, polyethylene, and steel. So, aluminium is easier in terms of workability and its corrosion resistance in flexibility to magnetism and tendency for plastic deformation. While steel has practically an airtight production process that produces minimal construction process and constructional waste. And last, polyethylene is an advanced chemical and impact resistance, low maintenance and greater flexibility, also make it highly suitable for boat construction. For the safety factors, design stability, when it comes to workplace safety, so the safety regulations ensure the employees safe at work. And they ensure the portal frame must be compliant with the OSHA and get approval by fire safety. So for the fire safety, there are several requirements provided to dog yard to stop the fire spreading. First is a use of fire resistant cladding. Number two is hose reel installed for one unit of hose reel on the center of the building. Number three is smoke detector. The smoke detector will have a direct connection to the alarm which will be ringing. Number four is fire alarm. Fire alarm will be installed as it is have more connection with more safety features and will ringing when some of the feature is detecting the sense of fire. Number five is signage that locate the signage that can easily to be seen by the employees for doing their work. Six sprinkler that located sufficient of sprinkler on the exaggerate area of the hall to ensure all the sprinkler of water are able. Number seven is a fire water tank. The fire water tank is located to the near dockyard and using a water suction from the sea water. Number eight is break the glass. Break the glass for the fire alarm they install on the wall but make it easier to occupant use for it. Number 9 is a fire extinguisher that place it on the wall for emergency use only for resist from the fire. Number 10 is a boundary mark. The boundary mark make it different uh, for the make it different part to show a lubricant part and make it easy for the uh, employees as walkway guidelines and make the caution line for the who near to the sea level. For the maintenance, these are all our suggestions for all the maintenance work at the dockyard. 
So the first one is the type, which is uh, preventive maintenance. This is because it can help the business to perform in a more reliable way as it will prevent the costly sudden downtime from unexpected equipment failure. And the second one is schedule for long range and daily schedule. So uh, for the long range, we make sure to all the equipment as they can retain its function and protect the item inside. And for the daily schedule, uh, it is to make sure all the activity at the dockyard are running smoothly, especially involving process of repairing. The third one is management for in-house or outsource. So we choose to use existing dockyard maintenance management in-house and upon outsource company suggested by us or follow their own management preference. Uh, the number four is strategy, which is KPI and plan maintenance. So it is helped to measure the performance of appointed maintenance, management and the dockyard to optimal levels. It also support in chart a new and profitable cost by providing a clear line of sight between maintenance tasks and overall organizational objective. And the last one is our program. Uh, it is based on items, elements and materials. So it consists of the daily, monthly and annually. Thank you from us from Gold Coast Construction and Surveying.